Did you, Caden Mila Falcho, welcome to Irish Granny Tarot, trying to get my act together here. I just got home from work and I wanted to very briefly do just two readings. One is for one of our fellow viewers in Ireland, Anne. Anne, this is for you. I have never done anything like this before. I am not a sports fan. Uh, she asked me to do a reading on the All-Ireland Final, which is a, a ball game. <laughs> I didn't even look it up. So she told me the name of the two teams that are playing. When we're done looking at the cards, I'm going to tell you the impression that I got when I was contemplating this a little while ago. And I'm just going to use my, my Rider Waite cards very straightforward, nothing deep and meaningful. I'm going to draw three cards on the first team and then three cards on the second team and we'll just see who gets the more positive cards. Um, my father was a big fan of Irish football which is a little bit like, it's kind of like soccer kind of I think. He also liked hurling. Hurling is a strange game. Hurling's got a stick like a hockey stick, except you do it on the grass and they beat each other up. <laughs> so, okay, this is the All-Ireland Final, which is like the, I guess it's like the Super Bowl. And there are two teams playing, Mayo and Tyrone. So, We'll ask about Mayo first. So how is Mayo going to do in this game? And once again, I'll reiterate, I know absolutely nothing about these teams, the sport, anything, the odds, who might win, who might not. And, and Anne didn't tell me who her favorite team was, which I think was very clever. <laughs> Confirmation bias, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Three cards. In no particular order, just to see what comes up. Oh dear, look what we get right away, the Three of Cups. This is Mayo, Three of Cups. Six of Cups, and the Cups is like nostalgia, happiness for times past. And oh, the Two of Wands. Uh, planning, thinking ahead, contemplating the future trying to decide without having enough information, trying to decide what your plan is going to be, your action later is going to be. Okay, so I need to put these back in the deck. So we got three of cups, the six of cups, and the two of wands. I think that's a very pleasant uh, potential here for Mayo because, you know, in this Two of Wands, he's holding the world. He's got the whole world in his hands. <coughs> so they're celebrating. They're nostalgic. Now, I hope that doesn't mean they're nostalgic for games that they won in the past. And they're contemplating the future. So, I don't know. We'll just do it by comparison, and then I'll tell you the impression that I got. This is kind of fun, a little bit risky, because if I make a prediction and it doesn't come true, just remember, I'm not Linda G. <laughs> okay, Tyrone. How is Tyrone going to do? The game's tomorrow night. Saturday night. How is Tyrone going to do? Okay, that feels like it's about right. One, two, three. <laughs> well, <laughs> the three of cups. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> Couldn't see it. The Seven of Wands, which is trying not to get into, uh, trying to avoid fighting with anybody. Hmm. 
This is the final one. Justice. Okay, if I had to make a prediction, I would say the game is going to go to Tyrone or be tied. And it's going to be very close. And Tyrone hasn't won in a while, or Tyrone deserves to win. And poor Mayo is going to be feeling nostalgic for wins in the past and planning to win again next year. And now I'll tell you what I thought. So this morning I was thinking about it and I was closing my eyes and thinking about it and trying to come up with some kind of an impression. And what popped into my head? Tyrone Power, <laughs> the actor, and a whole lot of people clapping. <laughs> so we'll see, you know, who knows? <laughs> so Anne, I hope you have money on the game and I hope you bet on Tyrone. <laughs> That was fun. We needed something a little lighthearted. Okay, just please don't anybody ask me to predict something that you've put money in or to predict something like the outcome of somebody's health or something. I don't think I can do that. This is all in good fun and I'm doing my best. I'm following my intuition, but I would hate to think that anybody you know, I'm not the Long Island medium. <laughs> I read energy, you know, <laughs> not final outcomes. Sometimes though, like Britney Spears. Okay, so this question is for me. Now, I apologize to anybody I offend, but it should be no surprise to anybody at all who's watched any of my videos that I'm not a huge fan of the British royal family. I'm Irish. And... You can't help it, it's in the genetics. It's epigenetic, it's genetic trauma <laughs> passed on. So, Prince Andrew's in hot water. Uh, Virginia Giffray, who was trafficked by Jeffrey Epstein and Julianne Maxwell, has had him slapped with uh, a summons to court. I'm assuming that's like a subpoena. Don't know the British... Uh, legal system. So what's going to happen? And I'm going to do a full Celtic cross. I, you know, we've done a lot of books and presentations about that whole situation. And I'm sure you're fully aware of what my opinion would be. But I do believe it would have to be proven to be fair, and I don't want to make cast aspersions that are not fair. This is just tarot cards. It's entertainment purposes. But let's see what the tarot cards have to say about the situation with Prince Andrew and Virginia Jouffre, and I hope that's how she says her name. And Julaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein and So at the heart of the reading, I get the Knight of Pentacles. And I think this would be Prince Andrew feeling like a trapped rat, feeling cornered. Uh, he does not feel that he's accountable to the law. He's the royal family. They're above the law in their own mind. And who does she think she is? And he's got this whole story concocted in his head. And crossing it is the Three of Swords. So I think what we have going on here is somebody who's been gobsmacked. He's just been going along for a very long time, not a worry in the world, doing whatever he wanted and feeling no sense of accountability. Suddenly, 
he gets this summons and he wasn't planning on this. This is not something that he anticipated. Lack of foresight. He didn't think it could happen. And in the sky over it, I can't really read this, hmm, is the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I think uh, the royal family is distancing themselves from him. I think this is going to cost him a pretty penny. I think he may even try to buy her off, pay her off or settle out of court if they do that in England. I don't know. Uh, money is coming into play in this. It's already been in play, but it's going to be more in play. He's going to lean heavily on his wealth and position to insulate him. His family wants nothing to do with this. This is a big stain. This is an embarrassment for all of them. And at the foundation, the strength, you notice that this is a lion. The lion is the symbol of England. And uh, I'm not quite sure what this says. I'm not sure if this means that the strength behind the royal family's history is going to save him, or if that lion is finally going to be tamed by this case. Now, this has overturned their happy little Marilago in London. <laughs> the, the Four of Wands reversed uh yeah this is this is this is a shake-up this doesn't happen i the thing that i can think of closely most closely to this and this is worse would be when i believe it was edward abdicated right you know in the 30s for wallace simpson the divorcee Ah, okay, this is, in the near future, this is Prince Andrew once again. The King of Swords reversed. This is uh, royalty tossed upside down, literally. But this is somebody who's not a nice person. Vindictive, hostile, aggressive, potentially violent, manipulative, controlling, and... Once again, I'm going to recommend look up that BBC interview. Uh, you cannot escape the fact that he's lying through his teeth the whole entire time. It's just patently obvious. It's unbelievable. He's going to fight this. This is the Knight of Swords. He's going to fight this tooth and nail. He's going to put the weight of his position, money, and legal system against Virginia Jufri. She's very brave. Very, very brave. He's, this is the uh, Ace of Wands. This is the environment around him. Rage. Absolute rage. Hopes and fears. Uh, the King of Wands. He wants to come out of this vindicated. He is hoping to maintain his position in the royal family, maintain his esteem in the eye of the people, and he wants to be regarded as somebody tough, and strong and but he's all the nasty things uh he's ambitious wants to in the sense that he wants to keep his position um a lot of negative emotion about this the outcome abuse of power this is the five of swords I can't count. Abuse of power. Crossed by the Nine of Swords. I think this is, you know, swords being the legal system. I think that he could very well come to grief over this. This was abuse of power. And abuse of position and authority. Intimidation of somebody young. Let's clarify that I hope that that's not speaking about Virginia we didn't really ask we could probably do a separate reading but let's get a clarifier on that outcome and then we'll do a separate reading on Virginia if you haven't heard this full story I would strongly recommend the podcast that's about Jeffrey Epstein and this whole case 
and I don't remember the name of it, but all you have to do is go on Google and type in podcast about Jeffrey Epstein and it'll pop up. It, it got all kinds of acclaim. Very good. It's a riveting story, an unbelievable story. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the star. So I think that's a yes. A yes, this is him, and a yes. This abuse of power and this pain as a result of his abuse of power, pain to himself, pain to his family, pain to his victim. Uh, I think it's going to come out. Yeah, this is, I don't think this is going to go well for Prince Andrew. I'm surprised. Perhaps he'll cut a deal. This is the Three of Pentacles. Perhaps they'll come to some sort of an arrangement. So let's quickly do a reading on Virginia. See how, where she is mentally and emotionally, what the energy is around her. And then I'll call it a night because it's very late. Let's do a reading on Virginia. This young girl. Now I'm... Hoping I'm not confusing her with another of the many victims. She was 17. Her father was the maintenance boss for Mar-a-Lago. She was working in the spa, handing out hot towels. Jelaine Maxwell groomed her, chatted her up. She told Jelaine her goal was to become a, a, not a physical therapist, but like a, um, a massage therapist. Jelaine Maxwell lied to her and said, oh, well, I have a whole setup. I know I've been trained. I'll take you. I'll teach you. You can learn it from me. I'll help you to take the test. Come to the house with me. I have a friend you can practice on. And by the time she was in the room with the naked Jeffrey Epstein, she didn't know how to get out of it. She was a naive 17-year-old. I wouldn't have had a clue what to do. I would have been horrified. <laughs> Okay, Virginia. I think the decision is going to come in her favor. I'm not sure he'll be found guilty in a court of law. I'm not sure if they won't settle outside and they'll pay her off a lot of money. So this is, this is her and this situation with Prince Andrew. Disharmony, this terrible situation between two people, really a bad situation. And this is the Four of Cups, and she's had time to mature and think about this and understand what it was that was done to her. And her process of healing involves this confrontation. Uh, it's not something that she's thrilled about having to do. It's something that she has to do for healing. She's going to have everything thrown at her. This is the... Uh, nine of wands and she's going to have everything but the kitchen sink thrown at her uh, accusations hostility threats I hope that she has protection and at the foundation this is gross this is the seven of cups we're looking at uh, addiction drugs temptation sin uh sins of the flesh this is the situation the foundation this is what Jeffrey Epstein Prince Andrew all of them were all about and in the past we get the ace of swords reversed it took her a while to get the clarity to understand for a very long time she did not know how to speak her truth she didn't know how to ask for justice for a very long time, which is common in 
victims of trauma like this, absolutely common. But look at this, in the near future, she's going to be victorious, the Six of Wands. A lot of wands and cups in this reading, and I think it's got to do with, this is the action she's taken and the emotion around that action. Now here she is, the Six of Pentacles. I, I think they're going to try to buy her off. I think they're going to make her a financial offer. And the uh, environment around her is the high priestess. She has the moral high ground. She has a lot of secrets to tell. She is absolutely the wronged person. And the hope is the king of cups. The hope is that this will be adjudicated, that uh, the moral thing, the right thing will be done, that justice will be served, that compassion will win the day. And the outcome is the queen of wands. I think this is Virginia, and I think that this case is going to fall in her favor. Crossed by the two of pentacles, whether it's a settlement or it's a punishment you know for of the courts he's gonna have to pay her money I'm convinced of that this is gonna be interesting to see this is a big shakeup a very big shakeup I feel like this is probably downhill from here for the British royal family I think uh, it's just one scandal too many. Although they've weathered it. I mean, they survived Henry VIII. So, <laughs> hard to say. Well, that's all I'm going to do tonight because it's been a very long day. And uh, let's all cheer on Tyrone tomorrow. <laughs> I just can't tell you how funny it was when, I, when the image of Tyrone Power came into my head. Uh, because, you know, I was... Uh, equally as likely to have thought of Virginia Mayo. I like old movies, and those are two great old actors. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm all ready to do the book tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. Um, pretty entertaining. It'll be an interesting story to hear, and very timely. Not about the British royal family. <laughs> but thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good Saturday morning. And in the meantime, slangafoil and slancha. Up Tyrone. <laughs>